me what's up Think you gon' play me, just know that I'm not one of them Feel like I don't know you, don't come around no invader it's your boy Nodo. Coming to another video, coming to another podcast, man. In today's podcast, we're going to discuss man makes woman cry when he tells her to lose weight and why women cannot accept rejection from men they find attractive. If you're new here or you've already been here, go ahead and click that like button, go ahead and comment, go ahead and subscribe, click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, let's get into this topic, man. So, hey, shout out to the No Fool Gazy podcast, man. They definitely nailed a lot of subjects right in the head. And I happened to come across this video about this one this man just was telling about this woman um that she needed to lose weight and she was just going back and forth and back and forth so in this video we're going to be using some footage from their um podcast and hey all credit goes to the no food gazy uh, podcast and their team over there they're doing a wonderful job over there i'm going to give the video credit for them i'm just doing a commentary on your video so without further ado we're going to get into these first clips and what we're going to do is we're going to show up from clip and we're just going to show my response to the clip and i'm just going to put in a little bit of my points and you know just make a reaction just like i'm doing like, usually so anyway we're going to get into this first clip and after this clip we're going to discuss man is born without any sexual value he has to go out there and create his sexual value it's up to a woman she's born with her sexual value it's up to her to preserve her sexual value now you preserve your sexual value as far as not having sex but as far as preserving your sexual value as far as what are men attracted to sexually well we're attracted to women that are fully in shape we like the coat figure, small waist, wide hips, or if it ain't small waist, if it ain't wide hips, it's just like some type of curvature there, but it needs to be thin and healthy. That's what men are generally attracted to. Supermodels, thinner women, they get more options. More thicker women, they get less options. You got to think about it. The thicker the woman is, she's getting less options. Well, why is she getting less options, though, too? I ain't going to lie. I'm going to have to disagree with him on that one. I'm going to have to disagree with him on that one about the, uh, the thin uh, chicks and the models and stuff like that. I understand that is like the standard for a lot of like brands and sponsorships and stuff like that. But as far as like social media is concerned, man, the thick chicks are winning. But all you see is just cake and cornbread fed. The crowds are really gravitating way, way more towards the thick chicks. I'm just going to keep it a buck. Me, myself. I am definitely always been teamed with the thick chicks. I'm just going to keep it a buck with you on that one. I'm not dis disagreeing with this point holistically, but when it comes to that point, man, I, 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 can't, I can't agree with you there, brother. I can't agree with you there, brother. Hey, them thick chicks is, man, they getting hella clout, and it's, hey, it's, it's hella love over there. So, I mean, hey, it just, hey, I, 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 <laughs> I love them thick. You hear me? I, they cornbread, I'm talking about, man, eating everything on the plate, man. I'm like, just clean the bones and everything they'll feed you and everything but i'm just telling you right now big chicks i'm talking about proportional chick yeah but they can still be yeah i i think this is I know. The, you're trying to say that a person there it's not completely just based on an initial attraction or the i'm sorry i shouldn't say that because a lot of it is based on initial attraction because i can walk into a room and i can or i can walk on on it i can be on a date with somebody and if i not attracted to them when I first look at the way they walk or their hands or the way that they walk into a room, my opinion's probably not going to change. I got you. And no. I'm also saying but, this, though. But that right there proves everything I've always been talking about, guys. Everything I've already been talking about. Like she said, she can walk through a room and garner attention. Men can walk in a room and garner attention and have a reaction from a woman just as well. She said if he don't walk a certain way, do this a certain way or whatever, hey, she ain't really feeling the man. So now you see how picky she's being now. You see how picky she's been. And let me remind you, let me remind you guys, because we, we didn't even discuss this. This woman is a virgin. She's like in her 30s, early 30s, I believe. But she is a virgin. So she is saying that, oh, the way he walks and this and that and that, she's coming off as a very, very picky woman. Watch this. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I just finish. To finish my point. Sure. But I just, it's like, I get what you're saying to mm -hmm. a certain degree, but also you, you can't put all your eggs in that basket because that's not really that's, that's not, the only basket you have yes but but i've like i've, it, but, I've yeah, well, let me repeat dates, that again look right? so look it's not the only I, basket I, I have. I, i'll repeat it again it's it truly not. is look it's the only basket no, it's not, because I, I i can i can confidently tell you 
Like he just said, real that's, quick, just listen real quick. I'll say it one more time concisely. It's the only box. It's the only box that matters. That's the only basket, basket that matters to men. So men, we have a lot of boxes that we can elevate in because to be honest, you'll be surprised how many women actually think like this. How many women actually just feel like, oh, this is just these, this, I have so much more in my personality and all this and that, like men really care about that. And that's not really the thing. That's that's the big delusion with a lot of women. I'm not bashing. I'm not bashing anything. I'm just really just trying to bring some uh, understanding to the situation, especially for men, so we can understand what we're actually dealing with out here and the delusion that comes with the women. So I'm just really providing a solution to be like, okay, you just avoid that and you understand. You understand this, guys. They feel like they have way more that we care about to offer other than just looks we only care about what she looked like on the outside which he's this is the point that brother is about to convey so i'm going to let him convey his point and i'm going to go ahead on and uh, piggyback off what he's saying and get my spin on it women are attracted to a multitude of things you like him tall strong masculine dominant assertive you like him uh, uh good looking <coughs> smelling good dress nice dress nice being able to convey himself and hold the conversation and make mm -hmm. you feel the vibes so a man can if he's not uh, doesn't meet the height requirement well he can elevate by going to the gym getting a better physical structure he can elevate by talking to more girls and building up that confidence and learning learning ways to convey himself to a woman to make her feel all bubbly and giggly so he can elevate on different levels but that's because women are complex creatures because they are attracted to so many things which makes it which means that we can upgrade on many different things but what are men attracted to Lux. only your looks only your looks so that means that that's your only basket that's the only elevation you probably never heard the truth but this podcast no fugazi so we got to keep it real so i'm telling you please just take it i'm telling you this if you work on that you will attract more mates now it may not of course there's going to be more mates and it may be guys that you really don't want but still it's going to be more you'll have different guys to then choose from and it may be the guy of your dreams I, I just I can't I can't get on that train because you're trying well if to you don't want to get on that train I'm not telling you anything you're literally, yes you, you look fine you're 34 years old you're light skin you got long hair I'm sure guys are attracted to you physically but I'm but telling you, you but that's you, the though. only thing you can elevate that's the only thing you can elevate mm -hmm. give me a second oh that's okay do you want a hug Woo! let me get my damn soda man let me get my He hit him with that damn Ric Flair. Oh my God. Hit him with the Ric Flair. Woo! Damn. No matter where you're from, that has got to hurt. But at the same time, it's just basically just facing reality. This is the truth. Guys, this is the truth. This is the truth. Guys, women, whoever come across this video, that is the truth. That is, that is insanely the truth. We don't care about a woman's accolades when it comes to the sexual market value. We always say that. We do not care about that. Like, a, we'll take a woman that works at McDonald's that hasn't even graduated high school and probably just moved up the ranks and became probably a manager or probably just been a crew member at McDonald's and never graduated high school and she's probably like 25 or whatever over a woman that got her doctorate degree. A degree that we're not, if the, that woman that got the doctor, doctorate degree, degree or whatever, and uh, we'll take the girl that works at McDonald's over the girl that got the, the doctorate degree. We'll take her over the girl that got the bachelor degree. We'll take her over any girl that has, oh, she's, oh, she's got these businesses and all this, and oh, oh, she's elevating here and here. We don't care about a mo woman's monetary value unless we're trying to use her or something like that. But at the end of the day, when it comes to sexual market value, a guy, we are fixated, we judge with our eyes. If I, I see that something, she's fine, it don't matter what she do. It don't matter what line of work she in, it don't matter none of that shit. If we see a fine girl, that's what we want. We don't give a damn about the accolades. We don't give a damn if you never even attended school at all. We damn near don't even care if you got a speech impediment in some cases. If you, if you find enough, if you find the transcend not even being able to really communicate yourself or being able to, you know, grab her. Hey, it, it, it can go as far as that. I'm just going to keep it a buck, man. I'm going to keep it a buck, man. Looks matter a lot. Look, uh, depending on how good the shit looks, it can trump a lot of stuff. Trust me. Trust me. Trump's best everything for a man. So but anyway, but for a man, we think with our eyes. It's, just, it's, just, it's clear. It's clear as day. And she can't take that. Saying that she don't want to get on that train. No, you need to be able to accept reality. All women should accept reality. And all men should accept reality. Hey, physical attraction matters from the jump. 
from the jump. We're not saying this lady is an ugly lady. She's a beautiful woman. Definitely is a beautiful woman. But at the same time, she's saying that she's not attracting the men that she wants. Meaning she can't accept the rejection from the men that she wants. And the fact that she's actually crying after what this man has said means she values his opinion, which means she might even find him attractive. Because let this have been a, uh, like an ugly dude or something like that that she don't really care about. or Like I say, remember that video I showed you? Those girls didn't care about his opinion because they didn't find him attractive. This guy, I mean, she, she values this man. One way or another. One way or another, she values this man to the point where he can make her cry about her, the statement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to be invested some type of way if a man can actually bring that type of emotion out of you. But that's that's a little bit deeper. But anyway, we're going to continue with another clip and let's keep it going. Take your time. It's fine. Free hugs. No, he's just he's basically just telling you that. Can in, I, a, in a man's you. eyes, no, no. in a man's eyes, You're your value is tied to your beauty. I have no value because I'm not her size. No, I he's not saying that. That. Yeah, no. that is exactly what you're saying. That's I didn't. exactly what you're saying because you're trying to say that I'm not, a, I can't, I can't attract the right man because I'm not small enough. No, he's saying what he's saying. That's exactly what he's saying. He's saying. I could tell her what I'm saying. Let, no, let me just tell you. Let me just tell you what I'm saying. I would let her explain it from my, my point looks are everything, right? So they're the only thing that matters, right? That isn't what I said. They're the thing that matters matters first and foremost. That isn't matter. what I said. Shit, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, yes. Looks matter first and foremost on both ends. On both ends. Now, he, he trying to spare feelings and all that. I understand that and, and actually um, explain it to her to a point where it won't really come off as like, you know, jabbing, jabbing, jabbing and stabbing. But we got to face reality here. Because keep it a buck. When it comes to a man rejecting a, uh, when it comes to a woman rejecting a man, it's no mercy. They don't care. The man can, she can break his heart and have him crying and holding a freaking, throwing pebbles out the window, holding a fucking boombox over his head, and she won't give a damn. She'll go over there and laugh with her friends. But let some man uh, that she actually values reject her, and all of a sudden it's like, oh man, stick old man, and they want to play the victim. See, she's playing the victim card now. I'm pretty sure she done shot down so many men that actually really, really wanted the vet for her, but they didn't pass what? The physical attraction test. And I guess she's saying more and more and more other stuff and all that, but the other dude on the side, she criticized his height. So she automatically disqualified the man because of his height, but you can't, you get mad when you get disqualified because of your weight? See, the double standard is here. They can't accept rejection from a man that they actually value. See, when it comes, if it came to the dude that she wasn't attracted to, she doesn't care about his opinion. They don't care about stumping on their feelings. They don't care about making them uh, get in their feelings and cry or whatever. If a guy really like vetted for them and you're like, dang, man, I really, really liked her. I really wish you, you know, and he's rejecting them. There's no mercy there. They don't care there. Where, where there are no tears shed behind that. Not on her end. She don't give a damn. But let one man say something simple and actually trying to empower her. But she's want to cry and play the victim now. After you just stumped on all these hearts. You 30 something years old. So I know you didn't have your share of stumping on man's hearts. And this is not bashing. This is not bashing. This is just telling the truth. Because if it was on the other end, it was another guy. Uh, if it was a guy saying this, oh, this, uh, I'm pretty sure if you, if you look this way and it was a lot of women vetting to be with you, even though you're not attracted to the women that are coming at you, I'd be like, hey, bro, uh, you didn't care about, you know, when you stumped on their hearts. So why are you mad when this baddie stuff on your heart or, you know, don't want to be with you? She doesn't qualify for you. So if it was a man, I would talk to him the same way. So it ain't just about, oh, this man and woman, man versus woman. It's not about to be about man versus woman because physical attraction is on both ends. It's on both ends. We're we going to keep it a buck. Now, we value more and we, we can get away with more when it comes to the women. But at the end of the day, the physical attraction test has to be passed on both ends, first and foremost. End of story. End of story. But let's go on and continue with this and see what my brother got to say and uh, let him convey his point. We're going to come back again. For men. But, right. But, but that, would, that, that isn't. Right. I'm speaking specifically <laughs> to a certain thing, right? So I said that women advertise themselves. Women don't normally walk up to men to oh, lots of men and approach them. You don't you don't walk up to every guy you see that's attractive and approach them. The man and not only that, you would respect it more if a man would approach you. So men approach and women advertise themselves. So from that standpoint, since you're not 
meeting certain guys, right? So, I should... so let me finish. Since you're not attracting certain guys that meet your qualifications, that you would want to even have them guys get down on one knee to marry you, if you're not meeting those guys, that means that you need to change something about yourself. That's what I'm saying. Right. So, so the one thing that I need to change, you're saying, is just to lose weight. I'm saying the one thing you need to change is to lose weight and to get in a gym and you will become more attractive to more men. It's it's, it's, it's based be? off of beauty. But that's never been an Yeah, issue but for big me. is still beautiful. But it, I've what never, I'm telling you, it is. I don't want a man who's only going to judge me based on, how, based on my size. That's the way how it is. We don't want a man, look, we don't, look, you just caught him short. We don't want a woman that's only going to base us based off our height. I'm six yeah. foot four. He's five eight. But you but said I that he's disqualified because he's five but eight. I didn't judge his character. But okay, but you judge his height and he doesn't qualify for you. Hold up, hold up. What you talking about? <laughs> like, what, the, what the hell is she talking about? She definitely just disqualified that man, but you getting mad and saying that, okay, looking in the mirror isn't the thing that you're supposed to do if you're not attracting the people that you want to attract. No, that's that. Yeah, you have to look in the mirror and then you have to make changes to yourself. The only box that checks off a woman is your looks. It is is what it is. There is there is no end of question. Tell me, so, oh, is that all it takes? Is that all it takes? Or And she's talking about something more about his personality. You don't give a damn about his personality once he doesn't pass a physical attraction test. You don't even make it that far. He don't make it that far. That's like saying, oh, I, I, I strike out three times and I run the first base. No, you don't run the first base. You're taking your ass back to that dugout. And you're going to try again later on after the whole team bat. The hell you mean? It ain't about no, uh, oh, this person. You ain't checking for no damn personality after that. Because you're disqualifying. You, I can tell she's a type of disqualifier that just like, this, shoot him to the side, shoot him to the side. I can kind of I kind of get that vibe from her. Now, I don't know her personally, but just based on what I'm saying, she looked like the type that just be just be showing him to the side, showing him to the side, and don't give a damn. And don't give a damn. Because like, he said that he just that she just disqualified his brother, his brother for being like five, whatever the hell he is. Five, nine, five, eight, whatever. The damn near my age anyway, but still. So I guess I'm disqualified at this point as well. But anyway, getting back to the point. She's continuously playing the victim. She's playing the victim at this point in time saying, oh, this is all that matters. This is all that matters. I don't want a guy that only judge me by my looks. But that's all we care about. That's all we care about. That's all we care about. That, that makes the whole thing. That, that makes guys do above, go above and beyond. That's why guys that are like millionaires who go for girls that don't have absolutely nothing. She could be staying under the freaking bridge. But if she's fine enough, he will upgrade her life. He will move her in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he'll take off the street. But let a woman that's fine like that, I mean, I ain't gonna say it can't happen on the other end, but it doesn't happen the same way. See, us, we will vet and take a woman and like actually like do stuff for a woman, you know, do, you know, put our all into that. A woman will take a guy off the street and damn near make him like a boy toy or something like that. So if a man like finding up to a woman, but he ain't really got nothing, she ain't really gonna take him as that serious and probably just use him as a piece of meat or whatever from the side. But it depends on like when, if he gets like her emotionally attached. Now that can like a but that's like a rarity. But on, in most cases, if a woman's gonna reach down and grab a man and like that, that have like real like a lot of rapport, got a lot of accolades and stuff like that, you know, high in the feminist thing. And if she gonna reach down, most likely that's gonna be a boy toy situation. Or like a, a mini sugar mama type situation And that does happen That does happen A lot of them going to deny it But it does happen in this space But getting back to the point She does not want to be criticized for her weight And she doesn't want to look in the mirror And actually fix the thing that she wants To be able to attract the type of guys that she wants And that's just the thing it is the guys, if we wanted to attract other type of women, these top tier women that we want to go after to, these gym shark athletes damn there that be in the uh, gym all the time, these tight bodied women, uh, coat, bottle, coat figure women, Instagram model type women, then we have to look in the mirror and we have to change ourselves as well. Now we can have all the charisma, we can have the style and this and that, I mean all that can attract a woman here and there or whatever, but at the end of the day, your physical attraction matters. What is all this cased into? What is, what is the outward shell of this? We have to want the outward shells to even really care about all the other stuff. Now, we can be like, okay, he's talented. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you might, you know, you can get a little play from it or whatever. But at the same time, if she's not really digging your physical attraction. It's not going to be grounded and it's not going to have too much substance to her. She ain't going to care too much about it. When she have to look for other things inside you, I'm not saying other things don't matter. Like your personality and all that stuff don't matter. But I'm saying the physical attraction, outward appearance is what you want her to be attracted to first and foremost. So everything else just this, this comes naturally. She 
naturally cares about how you talk. She naturally cares about how you walk. Even if she didn't like your walk before, she like it now because she didn't saw you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She didn't got to know you now, all that gets. But if she likes your physical your physical appearance at first, that makes her more reluctant to that makes her more uh, receptive to all the other game that you have, all your talents and all this other stuff. She's way more receptive. You see what I'm saying? Even and, and then if you have some flaws and discrepancies or some deficiencies, she's willing to overlook them because the physical attraction is so strong. This is when it comes to the women. Like she's like, okay, I'm not. Um, I don't care about trying to change myself. I don't want a guy that only bases me off of my looks. But you're disqualifying guys that based upon their height and their personalities. And, and you know this and that, this and that. You don't have no problem disqualifying guys. But when it's the other way around and you're not getting these guys and these guys aren't looking your way and they're overlooking you, well, at this point, it's like, okay, if I'm not getting what I want, then what must what must you do? You have to change yourself. And this is no offense. This is no bash. This is no nothing. It's just, it's just plain and simple. This will happen on both ends. If I'm not getting the type of woman I want at the farm that I am right now, then I'm going to have to upgrade myself physically. Physically as well. You'd be like, okay, I can, get, I can get all the money and stuff like that and try to peacock that way, but what am I going to get? A superficial type of relationship of a woman that's using me for my money and or occasionally just playing me just and, and playing games with me and uh, playing like she actually likes me and when she only likes me before my resources, but she wants to train me alone to play the long game with me so she can get my resources in the end? No. That's basically what that is. I don't want to peacock with my money. I want the physical attraction to be so strong that you're receptive to everything else I bring to the table. But anyway, let's go on to continue with this. Okay, but that's not saying and we're saying. But, but look, look, time out. The same way he doesn't qualify for you <laughs> with your figure, a lot of guys you won't qualify for, and that's what you have to realize. But me as a person, I'm not going to qualify for a lot of guys because because that's life. You as can, a can person, you're great. You're, you if, don't even let's know just me. say you're yeah, a virgin. No, no, let's just say you're a virgin. And let's all just you grant it to you. Names. No, we didn't call you any names. Nobody I didn't call you. Names. No, 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 no. See, this is what the hell I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. She told me, so, oh, yeah, 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 but you don't even know me. But the, for those guys that you disqualified, you didn't even know them. And this go for a whole lot of women, and this can go for a whole lot of guys, too. You, you disqualifying this woman, but you didn't even know her. So she, you disqualifying this, find this man, but you didn't even know him. That says that your personality doesn't matter. Why? Because of the physical attraction. I'm, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. Because you don't even get a chance for them to get to know you if you don't pass that test. You see how she's like, oh, yeah, but you don't know my personality. No, no, no. We don't care about that. Neither do y'all. I don't give a damn about a personality from a man that y'all don't find attractive. But anyway, I already went on on that point enough. I just had to interrupt right there because it just shows the absurdity. Anyway, back to the next clip. Any names? No, no names. Can I, can I, I call you names. And real quick, you as a person... You have, let's just say you're virgin. Let's say I believe it. You have sexual I temperance. I, why, why would I lie you about have, that? <laughs> that makes, that means that you have all these characteristic traits in you that is very good. You're very, you're a person of high moral character. That's beautiful. What's on the inside is beautiful. But remember, you advertise yourself in men approach. So you want to, you want to display a beautiful outside just how beautiful you are on the inside you want to explain the outside i'm not saying that you're not beautiful i'm just saying that you can elevate yourself more he is saying be what you want to attract exactly he's not saying that you have to lose he's not saying that mm. man 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 hey that's crazy when it comes from the woman though that's crazy when it comes from the woman she's basically she do she basically just nipped the whole thing in the bud be what you want to attract. And you saw the look on her face when she told her that. You saw the look on her face. Definitely. And another thing when it comes to the women uh, advertising themselves, yes, they have to advertise themselves on double time. But at the same time, men, we got to advertise ourselves for two, two as well. They advertise themselves so they can be approached and they can be lusted after so a guy can want to vet them to want to be with them, right? But at the same time, we got to advertise ourselves, guys. That's why we stress looks matching. That's why we stress the body game. Because at the end of the day, we advertise for the look for the choosing center so we can see who finds our our package interesting. Now, we seldomly will get approached, but we we technically, we generally have to make the approach even if she's the one giving the choosing set. That's just how it works. A lot of women just not going to run up on any give a damn how fine they think you are. They're not going to walk up to you and be like, hey, how are you doing? One, they nervous as a motherfucker. That, that, that's first off. They nervous as hell. And then two, 
it's just it's just not really natural for a woman to just want to just go up on the guy that she actually likes. They they're very like subtle and uh, emotional creatures, and they always thinking about what could and could not go wrong. Like I say, they think about all this and it's contemplating, it's going through their head when they value how they look. That's why the physical attraction is so important because they actually you know they actually care about what would happen if they would go up. So they would rather go off with a what if and not even see how it even goes than for them to approach and actually get rejected. The, the fact of even getting rejected by a guy that they find enough courage to even try to uh, approach is, is, is crazy. So they, they much rather pass you up than for you to, uh, for you to, um, than for you to reject them. So that's why they'll give you all the choosing systems of the world, put themselves in your vicinity and all that stuff in, all, in order for you to make the approach, even just to make a, a subtle type of uh, conversation. But I notice a lot of things too. A lot of women, they'll sneak up on you and they'll start a little stupid little conversation, a little something like, act like you know, a regular conversation and then it, it gets up into that. That's like an approach, but it's not a direct approach. It's, it's like an indirect approach. So even if something is like, oh, you know, he kept it short with her or whatever, it doesn't come off as a rejection. You see what I'm saying? It don't come off as a rejection. But at the same time, when a woman values your opinion, that you can bring out an emotional response, just like in this video. She, she, she responded with an emotional response, and now she started going with other things that men don't generally don't care about when it comes to attraction from a man to a woman. You know what I mean? We will take that woman that works at McDonald's that has absolutely nothing, no high school diploma, nothing, over a woman that has multiple businesses and a doctor's degree and all this other stuff going on, but we do not find her physically attractive. It's just the way it works. It's nothing against the women. When, and they already know that. That's why they're continuously advertising. When you look at social media, what are they doing? Advertising. That's why they be twerking. That's why they be wearing all this, tw this tight stuff. That's why they're always showcasing their figure. That's why they're always doing these 360s and everything like that, because they generally know that men, we operate from our eyes this is why they're doing it but the guys are like oh man she's over there being a whole no she's advertising she knows what what men care about she knows what they care about that's why i don't like what men be talking about that oh man she's she doing oh she being oh she's not being martyrs i mean there are different levels to it but generally speaking women are going to advertise themselves and they the way they do it is just the way they do it now whether you do it or not is up to you but anyway it's your boy Noto. Come to another video. Come to another podcast, man. If you enjoy the content, go on and click that like button, go on and comment, go on and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And remember, guys, anybody can improve themselves if you're willing to work at it. I'm out. I'm chillin', I really ain't worried about niggas. I promise I keep it a cool and a Even though niggas be looking and sounding like me, that boy Morris said I'm not the father. Well, I'm a dog, get vicious when I'm irritated. I might need a shock on my collar. Don't got a filter, just keep it straightforward. I play my position, Andre Iguodala. Ain't no exposing me, I get a D hit or ovary. Don't even go down that road with me. And if a chicken obsess, I don't need it. I want that Miss Parker with Professor Ogilvy. Bitch ain't no testing me, none of these bitches be stressing me. Capping like they got the best of me. If she go off and get with another man, really, she still gonna be thinking about sex me. Done with these bitches, let's get to this paper. One piece of the pie, said lot on the merit. Chasing that money, Coyote wrote runner, ain't doing no talking just like Tom and Jerry Ain't no beef or no drama It won't make no money to me It's just unnecessary But if I'm pushing I'm gonna have to crash out on a nigga And then I'ma call up as Gary